Hey YouTube, it's Maddie the Emptiness Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today, as it says in the title, I want to talk about the fact that craft, crafty YouTubers are not normal. So I put them both in air quotes because, you know, I don't really know if there's such a thing as crafty YouTubers, but you know what I mean. And uh, I don't know if there's such a thing as normal, but you know what I mean. So I don't want you to take offense because, of course, I'm one of you. I'm one of you. Uh, I have a small channel, so I'm a little crafty YouTuber, but yet I'm one of you. So you can see I have some supplies out and I really thought that when I did this little talk, you'd want to watch a little something. Otherwise, it's just my hands and that's pretty boring. So I'm going to make some backgrounds and uh, what's been popular on YouTube and what I want to try and do is play with some of my supplies that I haven't taken out in some time. And so while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk to you about why I think Crafty YouTubers are not normal, and I'm certainly want to, going to want to hear in the chat if you feel the same way. So with that being said, welcome back. If you're returning, I'm always glad you came back. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoy the content and consider uh, subscribing. And of course, anyone who enjoys, I hope you will leave me a comment thumbs up and subscribe if you've not already done so. All right, so um, the supply that I haven't used and I can't even tell you how long are my Ken Oliver Color Bursts. So here's what they look like. I have two sets. This one is uh, Fresh Florals and the other one is Bright. So uh, lots of companies make these little pigment powders and uh, you put them out on paper and spray some water or vice versa, spray some water and then put them out on paper and they are super fun to play with. Another supply I haven't used in a while is my Canson um, watercolor paper. I am not a watercolor artist at all, but... Uh, I purchased this Canson XL 20% uh, free and I'm sure I had a coupon because I'm a crafty YouTuber and that's what we do. I'm sure it was on sale and I had a coupon and yet I barely touched this pad. So today we're going to do both. In addition, I want to point out that I will be referring to my inventory binder. A lot of YouTubers, uh, crafters, don't really need to do that. I am not one of them. Um, if you saw any of my videos, you know that I swatch out all of my supplies and I'm going to try to find where my swatches are for these Ken Olivers. These are the inks. Uh, Alcohol inks, tattered ink, Cal, Ken Oliver. So these are them swatched out. And I will be referring to those swatches when I sprinkle and talk to you about my theme for this video. Why I think crafty YouTubers are not normal. Okay, so just going to take a piece of uh, pre-cut card panel and I pre-cut a bunch. I don't know how many I'll need, but I am going to play while we talk. Okay, so when I was a beginning scrapbooker, I worked in the kitchen. I worked at the kitchen table and I absolutely just try to put my little supplies that I had accumulated here and there in the brick front. And when I had 
to prepare for my children to come back from school, I would put everything that I had in um, the break front. So, and I would put my project laid out on the dining room table so that the kids could come home, have a snack and do their homework. So imagine how many supplies I had. That's how I started. I'm sure that's how you all started and or many of you. And uh, that's how it was for some time. I had some friends who were not in the crafting world and I tried to get them to come along on this ride with me, but that didn't happen. Isn't that fun? Oh, that is so fun. You guys understand. Look at that. Yes. Okay, so nobody wanted to come on this ride uh, with me, so I was riding this wave all by myself. And that was okay because I still loved to craft. So then what happened was, you know, I really felt like since I was enjoying, I would um, gather more supplies and I outgrew that kitchen. Um, I outgrew the kitchen and I started moving my items in the basement. And that is because I needed the space. I couldn't really, pardon me, I couldn't really um, manage moving my larger collection of supplies in the way I had done before. It was too much stuff and uh, and I was having a great time. So I just wanted to expand, wanted to expand. And uh, my family supported me. My husband loved the scrapbooks. He still loves the scrapbooks. He always wants me to scrapbook some more. But in any event, I didn't know anyone who was doing anything like I was doing. So, I stumbled into a, a meetup group. And there, I found people who really were able to talk to me about my hobby. And uh, they have become friends. I, I uh, know them quite a few years right now. And uh, that was the first way I was able to connect with people who had a clue as to what I was talking about. And uh, those people are my friends to this day. It was a local group. We met in person. And uh, then over pandemic, we met over Zoom and we're still meeting over Zoom every week. So that was a big win. Win-win for me. So that being said, these people, they've been to my craft room. I've been to some of theirs. And I can tell you, they're not at my level. Not that they that I'm more talented than them. I am not more talented than any single one of them. But my craft collection is at a way different level than theirs. And uh, I believe when they saw my craft room, they just about, you know, uh, thought I was ready to be committed, and they may not be wrong. I mean, you you guys know they may not be wrong. So I was partially there, but not exactly. So 
I turned for the first time to YouTube. And there I was able to discover two crafty YouTubers that I continue to follow to this day. And I guess it would it be an insult to call them crafty YouTubers at this point because they are, I want to say, at a different level than that. I want to say they are professionals because one, they're absolutely professionals. So the two people that I saw for the first time and uh, continue to follow are Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, which I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, know, and the ever-popular Jennifer McGuire. Both of them, when I saw them, I was following their scrapbooking videos. Now, if you're following them too, you know that that's in their, you know, history. That's their history as it's my history because Jennifer McGuire is, uh, I believe, exclusively right now a card maker. And Lindsay almost never uh, scrapbooks anymore. She uh, is mostly a a painter. She's certainly a, an artist. And she, um, on a rare occasion, will still make some cards, but they are, you know, very, the kind of cards you need to have actual talent for. And many YouTubers have tons of talent. I'm not one of them. Look at this. What a mess. It's a mess. Um, but, uh, but that was my introduction. And if you have seen their, that's pretty funky. I'm going to keep that just like that. Um, if you've seen their videos from the beginning, you've seen tours of their craft room. Even in the beginning that they had their YouTube channel. These people, they had a stash. My friends, my friends who are uh, in the real world, they may have a little stash that normal people have, but they don't have the kind of stash that crafty YouTubers have. And... The kind of stash that crafty YouTubers have, I'm going to say, is not what you're going to typically find out there in the real world with your real friends, like your neighbor, your kid's friend's mom. They don't have that. That's because we're not normal. Um, so please believe me, it is... Not you I'm talking about, it's you and me. And that's okay, because I don't really know what is normal. But I do know when people outside of YouTube see my space, and you can readily see my space. There are several craft room tours and there will be more. But when people on YouTube, see my space. It's a small space in comparison to normal people. And uh, there's certainly a respectable stash going on right there. Um, but if normal people, not from YouTube, come into the space and see what's going on? It looks like Michael vomited in my basement. That's not normal. That doesn't happen in 
normal people's homes, normal people in your neighborhood who you would meet on the street. However, for other crafty YouTubers, there's nothing surprising here. How do you store this item? How do you store that item? How many of those do you own? Which one is your favorite one? These are the things that you can find out if you meet other crafty YouTubers. And uh, when I saw the tour, of the first tour of Jennifer McGuire's um, craft space, she was in the basement, just like me. And eventually she moved to a different space and I believe she stated that she is uh, now in the basement again of a different house. I believe she's in the basement. Don't quote me on that. I am, you know, she doesn't know me and I don't know her except for YouTube. So uh, I believe she's in the basement again. I think I'm going to leave that just like that. It's a little bit funky. I can change it later if I want to. This is water reactive and that might be that for the moment. And I may go back to the other things, but this is just uh, just for fun, just for fun to look at while I'm talking. So Jennifer McGuire had this enormous space in her basement, and so did Lindsay. So did Lindsay have an enormous space in her basement, and she was excited to show it to everyone. She was just, she's got this energy. If you watch her, you know she's energetic and happy to watch. And I thought, okay, we're not normal, but guess what? Guess what? This is my tribe. These are the people who understand me. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And no, we are not normal, not normal. But guess what? That's okay. Because my message here today is everybody should find their tribe in life and embrace people who understand them. And uh, that's the beauty I think of YouTube. We don't have to stay within the limits of who we live nearby to or, uh, or you know, who uh, we've met through other people. Because if you, and I don't do any other social media, just YouTube, but it has been absolutely a way for me to find people who understand the way I see things. And that's what makes them my tribe. So no, is my tribe normal? No, they're not normal. I'm not normal, you're not normal. And that's okay, because what we all should embrace is finding like-minded people who understand us. And uh, if we say, you know, I already have three trimmers, but I might get that trimmer. And normal people would say, that's nuts. <laughs> and uh, of course, I'm not saying the normal people are incorrect. They very well may be correct. And we all know that. That's why we have these huge stashes and uh, many of us are considering uh, no buy or low buy or whatever it is you may or may not be considering in this point in your crafty life. But uh, if you are able to find your tribe, then that is the coolest thing of all when you're a crafter. So I say, 
Are we normal? No, we're not normal, but that's okay. Whatever kind of crafter you are, if you can find your tribe, embrace them, share with them, comment on their videos, hope that they'll comment on yours, and enjoy your hobby. So I hope you found this useful and not insulting. Clearly, I am one of you. I am not trying to point a finger, but to embrace my truck. And uh, I hope that you'll be uh, coming to join me on my channel again. And uh, have a little fun with me. And, you know, laugh at ourselves together. Because if you can't laugh at yourself, then you're not having enough fun. And isn't that what this is all about? Let's have some fun. So everybody in my tribe, I hope you had fun today and I hope to see you again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have a great day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye YouTube.